Hello and welcome to the DroneBlocks Wi-Fi Adapter Installation Guide for the Unitree Go 2. I'm your instructor, Gabe, and I'll be telling you how to install the Bros Trend Wi-Fi Adapter on your Go 2 robot. So before you get started, you'll need access to your Go 2 robot. You'll need an Ethernet cable to connect your laptop to the Go 2, and you'll need the Bros Trend Wi-Fi Adapter, which you can find more information about on the DroneBlocks website. So let's get started. Uh, take your laptop, connect it to your GoTo with the Ethernet cable, and power on your GoTo, wait until it's uh, risen into that standing position. And now you can verify the connection, uh, the Ethernet connection, by typing SSH unitree at 192.168.123.18 with the password 123, enter. Uh, it may prompt you for a ROS version selection, and you can type one or two. And then it'll take you into the robot. So now you've got a terminal in the robot. You can see we've got that Unitree at Ubuntu over there, uh, indicating that uh, we're inside the robot. And you can LS and see the, the robot's internal file system. So um, after we uh, proceed with the setup and set up your Wi-Fi adapter, you'll actually be able to SSH into the robot and do all of your programming without being connected with Ethernet. So um, that's sort of going to be the final product of this video. Now, since we've confirmed that we're connected to GoTo, let's actually exit for a moment and clear the terminal. We're going to consider two different options, or I'm going to describe two different methods for installing the adapter. Uh, the first method is the offline installation, which is recommended because it doesn't require you to uh, sort of hack your dog uh, onto an internet connection first. Um, it should just work if you follow these steps, and it's pretty simple, just a few commands to run. But uh, if your dog has a more complex configuration, maybe you've already uh, changed some files on there, you could run into some, uh, I mean, it's possible that there could be an issue with the, the offline installation and you would get some error, in which case you can also try the online installation. Uh, and I'll, I'll show you how to do that uh, at the end of the video. And the online installation, uses some internet resources to be more robust to different uh, configurations on the dog. So it should pretty much always work uh, if the offline installation is giving some error. Let's proceed first with the offline installation. Now, first step, we're back on our laptop and we're going to clone the DroneBlocks GoTo Wi-Fi adapter uh, GitHub repository. So uh, you can type or paste uh, git clone, git at github.com, drone blocks slash go to wi fi adapter dot git. Oh, and I already have it, so I'll actually remove it. Okay, that's what it'll look like. It's downloading just a few files, and then uh, now if you ls your go to wi fi adapter, uh, you'll see that the folder is populated with the repository files. Great. So the next step is to transfer some of those files over to your GoTo robot. And in particular, we're going to transfer the AC1L offline files folder. So the command is scp-r goto Wi-Fi adapter slash AC1L offline files. So that's your AC1L offline files folder inside the GitHub repository that you cloned. Uh, and the destination is Unitree at 192.168.123.18, and we're going to put it in the home slash Unitree folder. So hit enter and type the password 123, enter. You'll see the list of files being copied over to the GoTo. Uh, so now your install files are on the GoTo, and the final step is to actually run uh, the install offline.sh script inside your GoTo. So you're going to SSH back in unitree at 192.168.123.18 with the password 123. Now you can cd to home unitree ac1l offline files, that destination folder. And if you ls, you'll see the install offline.sh script. And you're going to run it with sudo dot slash install offline.sh. Hit enter, type the password 123, enter again. And now, You'll need to wait a little bit. It's installing all the required packages for your Wi-Fi adapter from Bros Trent. Great, so after the installation is complete, you'll see the message the driver was successfully installed. Now, 
you can go ahead and enter the post installation setup. So first, you'll actually want to go over to your robot and plug in that adapter. Now, it could have already been plugged in, but if it, it wasn't plugged in, go ahead and plug it in. Um, and now you can type IW config, and you should see this WLAN zero. So actually, if I go ahead and unplug for a sec, I've unplugged my adapter and run IW config again. It says no such device for WLAN zero. Plug it back in. Might take a second to show up. Yep, there you go. Uh, so now you see that that device listed, uh, but it is currently uh, unassociated. So uh, what you can do is uh, you can run this uh, command to configure the network manager to handle the device. So that's going to be um, sudo sed uh, dash i all of this to the network manager dot conf file, and you can find all these commands on the GitHub repo. Read me. So there's that, and then um, you're going to do sudo system ctl restart uh, network manager, and now if you type nmcli device, you should see that. Uh, device WLAN zero uh, Wi-Fi is disconnected. Uh, it shouldn't say unmanaged. It should say disconnected because we've changed the management state to be true. And finally, uh, there's a command to actually turn on the Wi-Fi hotspot. So that, again, you can uh, copy paste from the GitHub repository. It's a super long thing. But uh, if you take a look at the contents, what we really have is uh, the name of the network is going to be uh, oh, this drone blocks go to 001. It's going to have IP address 10.42.0.1 on the network, and the password is going to be these eight zeros. So you can modify any of those fields if you want your Wi Fi network to have a different name or a different password. So when you run the command, it'll say connection go to hotspot successfully added. And now when you run your NMCLI device again, you'll actually see that that WLAN zero uh, says connected and the connection is go to hotspot. Great. So we're all set up. And now the thing that we can do is actually connect to the dog via Wi-Fi. So let's exit out of that terminal. We've closed our connection to the dog via Ethernet. Um, we can unplug the Ethernet cord. Uh, now on your uh, laptop, you can go to your uh, Wi-Fi settings and whatever Wi-Fi network you're connected to, you can switch it to be connected. Look in that list of Wi-Fi networks for the drone blocks go to 001 network and connect to it with the password uh, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, that's eight zeros. Okay. So now I've uh, gone to my computer's settings and I've connected to that network. So now if I SSH, I can SSH into the dog uh, over Wi-Fi. And uh, you can recall that the, the IP address that we assigned the dog uh, further up Oh, yep, right here it was 10.42.0.1. So um, that's what you'll type the SSH unit tree at 10.42.0.1. And wow, well, now it prompts you for your password. You can type 123. And voila, you've entered your robot dog and you're ready to uh, write and run code on the onboard computer without being connected by Ethernet. This takes us to the end of this lesson. In the next lesson, we are going to look at the second method of wireless adapter installation using the online method.